These are examples on uh, the topic of resistance and resistivity. Example one, if a wire is stretched uniformly to n times its original length, by what factor does its resistance change? Okay, so let me draw for you the original wire. So the wire was originally something like this. Okay, it has length, uh, length L and the cross-sectional area A. Okay, so this is initially, initially, okay, and its resistance initially, R initial equals rho multiplied by L divided by the area. This is the initial resistance. Finally, we stretch this wire to N times its original length. So now it is N L. Okay, this is finally. Okay, N L. But what happened to its area? Area gets smaller now. Okay, so let me call this A final. Area final. Okay, and uh, we will find what is the final resistance. Okay, and compare the final resistance with the initial resistance. He's asking by what factor does its resistance uh, change? So by comparison, we can uh, get that. What is common by stretching uh, the wire? The volume of uh, the material doesn't change. Okay, so here, what is the volume? It is just the cross-sectional area multiplied by this length. As you stretch it, the material is conserved. Huh? You don't lose the material. So the volume is still, is still there. So, volume, initial, volume, initially, equals the volume, finally, by stretching, okay? What is the initial volume? It is just the cross-sectional area multiplied by L, okay? Equals the cross-sectional area final, which we don't know, A final, multiplied by the length, which is N L, okay? How did we know this? This is given from uh, the question. The length becomes n times the original length. So this is n l. So l will cancel with the l. And we notice that a final equals a initial divided by, divided by n. So this is very important uh, result. So a final is the original cross-sectional area divided by, divided by n. Okay? So to find R final, so R final, we'll use the formula now. R final equals rho. Is it the same rho? Yes, of course, because it is the same material. It is the same wire. We didn't change the wire. If you change the wire, rho will change. Okay, multiplied by the length. What is the length? It is N L divided by the cross-sectional area, which is what? Which is A divided by N. Okay, so this N will go there and I'll end up with n squared multiplied by rho L divided by A. But what is this? Rho L over area is the same as R initial. So I'll end up with n squared multiplied by R initial. So R final will be uh, n squared multiplied by R uh, initial. So if the original length was uh, L, then the final is 2L. The final resistance will be 2 squared, which is 4, the initial resistance. If it is 3 times the original, this will be 9R initial, and so on. Okay, so this is the uh, concept here, uh, which is conservation of volume will be the same, and we use the formula for the uh, resistance and rho of course doesn't change because we don't change uh, the material. Second example, we have a 20% increase in the resistance of a copper wire was noticed when its temperature was raised above room temperature and he gives us in the problem that the room temperature is 290. Okay. Find the final temperature of the wire if the temperature coefficient of resistivity for copper is 4 
10 to the minus 3 per, per Kelvin. Okay, so this example uh, covers the concept of a change of resistance and uh, resistivity as well uh, with changes in temperature. Okay, and we know the formula here uh, says the following R final minus R uh, zero equals R zero alpha, which is this constant temperature coefficient of resistivity, and it is given to us, uh, alpha, uh, multiplied by delta T, which is T final minus T, T0. T0 is given to be 290, okay? And there is a 20% increase in the resistance. So R final will be 1.2 R0, okay? So this R final, I will replace it with 1.2 R0 minus R0 equals R0 uh, alpha T final minus T0, which is 290, okay? So the difference here uh, will be 0 0.2 R0 equals R0 uh, multiplied by alpha, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 3 per Kelvin multiplied by T final, which we don't know, minus 200. 290. So R0 will cancel with the R0, and we are left with T final, which is 0 0.2 divided by 4 times 10 to the minus 3, plus this number, which is 290. So this will turn out to be uh, 340 Kelvin. 340 Kelvin. This is the final uh, temperature uh, giving an increase by 20 percent in the in the resistance okay let us take the third example related to resistance and resistivity is asking what diameter must a copper wire have if its resistance is to be the same as that of an equal length of aluminum wire with diameter of 3.26 millimeters and he's giving us resistivity for aluminum and resistivity for, uh, for copper, okay? So, to answer this question, we need to uh, be careful. We talk about two different materials. Here we have copper, and there we have aluminum, okay? And he's telling us that resistance of copper wire will be the same as resistance of aluminum copper, okay? They are, they are equal, okay? Length is the same, they have the same length. So length of copper will be the same as length of aluminum. But the diameter of uh, aluminum is given, diameter of aluminum is given to be 3.26 millimeter, 26 millimeter, but diameter of uh, copper, we don't know, diameter of copper is unknown. We would like to know this. And we are given resistivity for aluminum as well as the resistivity of, uh, of copper. So we'll start uh, from the first uh, row here. So row copper will be uh, R copper equals R aluminum. This implies that row copper multiplied by length of cover divided by cross-sectional area of cover equals rho aluminum multiplied by L aluminum divided by area of aluminum, cross-sectional area, okay? And they are cylindrical uh, wires, cylindrical wires like this, meaning that the cross-sectional area will be just the area of a circle, okay? So length is the same from both sides, so this length, okay, will cancel with that length because they are equal, okay? These numbers are given, and the area, this area, equals pi r squared. And we are given the uh, diameter, so we can uh, write the following. So row cover, which is how much? Row cover is 1.69, 10 to the minus 18. So let me have it here. So I have row cover, 
divided by pi uh, r square. R now is the meter of cover, the meter of cover divided by 2 all squared equals rho aluminum divided by pi diameter of aluminum divided by 2 all all squared. So pi will cancel with the pi and this 2 square will cancel with the 2 square. Okay, and we can write that diameter of cover, diameter of uh, cover will be, of course, there is a square, so we need the square root of uh, rho cover uh, multiplied by diameter of uh, aluminum uh, squared uh, divided by rho, rho aluminum. Okay, so we plug in uh, the numbers to get the following. So this will be 1.69 10 to the minus 10 to the minus 8 multiplied by 3.26 squared divided by rho of aluminum which is 2.75 2.75 10 to the minus 8 so this 10 to the minus 8 will cancel with the other uh, 10 to the minus 8 and will end up with diameter of cover uh, to be 2.6 okay and it will be of the same unit as this 3.26 so it was 3.26 millimeter I'll get it 2.6 also milli millimeter and this is the final answer for our for our question thank you